Here at the Aquilae Company, we believe in science. And science means sending people into space in an increasingly rickety craft and stuffing more and more of them into it each time until you've done enough science to make another one. And if you've been around this channel for a little bit, you know that in previous videos I have built what I call subscriber space liners, where I take each and every one of my subscribers into a, uh, well, we'll call it space in quotations because it's not actually space, but we go up into almost orbit in a space plane and then attempt to safely return. Everyone that is subscribed to the channel gets their own seat, in previous videos we've done 128 and then I believe 548 and in this video we are doing an 820 seat subscriber space liner. Hello everyone my name is Nick and welcome back once again to Kerbal Space Program 2 where today I would like to thank each and every one of you for signing up for the experimental vehicle testing program uh, and for being a part of this interesting launch that we're going to do here today. Uh, if you've been following along on this channel, you know that every once in a while I do videos where I take all of my subscribers to the edge of space. And there's a reason I say the edge of space and not actually into space. Because this craft can seat, uh, let me make sure I get this number right, 820 people, 4 in the cockpit, and 816 in the, uh, in the actual body of the craft itself. At the time of the making of this video, I have... I think 814 subscribers. So this is for each and every one of you. We're gonna take you on a free trip to space uh, and we're gonna to get to test out this really cool new Aquilae brand aircraft. So without further ado, let's kick on these engines and go. Oh God, it's, it's so unsteady. Oh, look how slow it's rising. Look at that shot. Oh, man. Well, welcome aboard the Aquilae 820, uh, the state-of-the-art Aquilae company spacecraft vehicle for space tourism thing. Uh, today, we're going to be making a quick trip up towards the edge of space, and hopefully, if you paid for the extra package, we'll be landing as well. But that's not guaranteed. We're just going to do our best. Still pilots in training here, unfortunately pitch this massive wobbly thing forward oh my lord look how it's got that wiggle I'm really afraid yeah look at that wiggle I'm quite afraid that um, it will tear itself apart but it's fine it's all part of the process I think we'll be okay I did a marginal bit of flight testing before I filmed this uh, so maybe we'll make it Okay, there we go. We got a pretty good incline here. Pretty good, pretty good flight pattern. So, we are going to basically just burn most of our fuel. Oh, she's going a little wild there. SAS doesn't like these janky airplanes. Um, yeah, so we're going to burn most of our fuel getting up towards the edge of space, if not all of it. And then, we are going to just try to glide peacefully back down to the surface. We are not landing on the runway. We are not landing anywhere close to where we came from. Uh, this is a one-way ticket, so... <laughs> as we leave the KSC behind, start to get a beautiful view of the world. Wow, so pretty. And we've just passed the speed of sound. We are now going above Mach 1. I'm gonna pitch this thing up some more. <laughs> It flaps its wings like a real bird. Come on, buddy. You gotta you gotta get going higher if we're gonna get to any kind of a meaningful altitude here. There we go. Pitch up a little more. There it is. Perfect. On a serious note though, I wanna thank each and every one of you for, for being here and being part of this channel. Uh, I have a lot of fun making videos for you guys and seeing how you how you enjoy them, how you react to them and everything. Um, and you know, it was just a little while ago that we were, I did like a 120 odd some seat space liner 
and then a 500 some seat space liner and now we're doing 800 and mark my words I will keep trying to do this until it is physically impossible, no matter how many of us there are. So, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is your free trip to space, complimentary. Uh, comes with your channel subscription. Uh, I think there's actually a way to look at your subscriber number or something like that, so you can actually find out what number seat you have on this uh, this glorious space plane, <laughs> if you're interested. Uh, but. We're approaching, we're not anywhere near actual space, but we are approaching the limit of our fuel supply. We've got a nice stable angle of ascent here. Um, look at this thing, man, <laughs> look at it. So I had to put those XL fuel tanks on the front because no matter how many of these fuel tanks I put on this ship, I could not get the Delta V to be anywhere close to what it needed to be. Uh, okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna start problems here in a second if I don't pitch down yeah because you need a roughly 4,000 Delta V to get to orbit and that is kind of the, the accepted figure um, but this thing it has like 3,000 a little under which is not really enough but look you can see the stars so we're gonna call it just a, a really glorified stargazing trip Okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna slowly taper off our throttle here and start to pitch down because the last thing I wanna do is lose control of the aircraft and I can't use SAS because of how absolutely janky this thing is. Okay, okay, let's be calm. Let's be calm, buddy. Okay, throttling down, evening out. All right, nice. Okay, 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 come on, pitch up, pitch up. That's too low. Trying desperately not to lose control here, guys. It's much harder than you might think. Oh, we might be out of luck. I have installed a last resort fail safe if everything goes wrong. And that is a whole bunch of parachutes on the top of the craft. I do not think that they would save us. Can I SAS? No, it doesn't even matter. Okay, we're, we're just going to start doing backflips, and that's fine. Uh, I'm going to just SAS off and let it happen. Hopefully nothing nothing breaks. Uh, but we have some parachutes in the event of a completely uncontrolled descent. But let's have a look. Let's have a look at our apoapsis here. Yeah, so we made it a decent way into space. Uh, about 25, 26,000 meters. We're still ascending. Uh, what's our apoapsis? 27,000. So that's that's actually like nowhere close to where space starts but we'll call it upper atmosphere uh, and this thing is just I'll give you a little tour of it while we're up here in the air so we have a total of 50 of these sky bus crew cabins 51 and then uh, we have one crew or uh, what's it called a cockpit and then we have five mammoth engines, which is how much you need to actually lift this thing off the launch pad. We have a set of very large wings, front canards that kind of morphed into the wing. And then we also have a uh, rear, like a tail assembly. Uh, I definitely could use more rudder control. And then we just have a ton of strut as well as these landing gear that I will deploy for your viewing pleasure. There they are. One on the end of each wing because the wings like to blow up when you take off and land. Uh, although this is not really capable of taking off from a runway in a conventional sense because it's so heavy. Uh, and let's see what else we got on here. We got some fuel tanks. So these are extra large fuel tanks. And then we also have some at the back here, but not too much fuel. We have a little bit left for this emergency landing we're going to have to make. Are we headed for the mountains? We don't have a chance if we land anywhere near the mountains. Oh, okay, we're getting a... Uh, starting to get a little more drag. That's good. So let's see if we can't flip this thing around. Okay, and then... Rotate. Rotate. 
Okay, come on, rotate. Not that way. Not what I had in mind. But fine, I guess. So now the hard part begins. Now I have to reorient, and in fact, let's quick save right now. Um, I have to reorient this thing into a gliding position, which is going to be extremely difficult. Um, so come on, let's uh, let's see if we can't roll. Roll, please. <laughs> okay, come on, buddy boy. It's like, are we just falling right now? Is that what's going on? Yeah, it seems to be. There we go. The trails are back. I can actually see what's going on. Okay, nose up. See if we can tip this thing over. Come on, tip. Tip towards the ground. Go, buddy, go. Okay, here's, oh, we're, we'll try this. We'll try, now go forward. Ah, uh, we've, we've oriented it backwards. This is going to be tough, so set it to prograde. And maybe the SAS can get us in the right configuration. It's trying. I can, it's spinning. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, we might have to use the last of our fuel. At this point, we're gonna land like a Falcon 9 booster and just touch down. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm a, okay, we're gonna kick the engines on. We're gonna kick them on right now. Please, SAS, help us deploying gear also. Come on, flip, flip. We are running out of fuel here. This has got to be quicker. Ugh. Almost, almost enough, almost. Okay, all right, all right. Shut off, shut off, and con I didn't fire him for long enough. We're, we're not gonna flip forward. Oh no, we might be in trouble, guys. The kite, the kite here. Oh, this thing is a mess. I, I've i never been very good at the descents on these because it's so hard to get them oriented properly because uh, what would be helpful is RCS and monopropellant, but the thing is, when you're in space, you lose control from your elevators, ailerons, and all that, and it means that your craft kind of just starts spinning all willy-nilly. Uh, so we only really have one option now, and that's our parachutes. Unless, are you going to orient properly just all by yourself? Oh. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Flip over. Come on. Can we get that prograde? If I can get it pointed down, can gain some speed going downward in the right direction, and then pull up at the last minute. But we might just be in a death spiral. We're going to find out. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, I think we're done for. At least in terms of landing like I had hoped. Come on, you gotta flip forward, buddy. Man, it likes the Falcon 9 style descent. <laughs> That's so interesting. Okay, forward, please. Oh. Uh, almost. Not quite what I had in mind. I think I think we can flip it. I got a feeling that we can do it. Uh, please make sure you've uh, fastened your seatbelts uh, and notice that the oxygen masks have been deployed uh, because there never was any cabin pressure in the first place. And I am trying to save the ship, so... We'll see what happens here. Maybe if I can get it spinning. Still got 3,000 meters. That's that's fine. We're still three kilometers off the ground, and this is a relatively flat spot, so... Maybe like this? I don't even know. 
Come on. I know you got it in you, buddy. Okay, we're just gonna have to pull the parachutes. Not sure how on earth that's gonna work, but... How on Kerbal, I should say. Kerbin. I always get them confused. Kerbal is the sun, I think. And Kerbin is the planet. Okay, okay, we gotta... Can we at least orient forward here? Oh, are the controls inverted? Oh, is it gonna flip? No, it's not enough pulled parachutes. Please don't tell me they just broke. Oh no, they're catching. They're catching. Come on. Come on. Catch this thing. Catch it. Come on. We're still going too fast. Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh. Is 40 meters per second going to be too fast? Look at our shadow. <laughs> we look like some kind of cursed pterodactyl thing. Okay, we got the gear deployed. We got the shoots out. Okay, that's not right. Uh, not enough shoots, I guess. Oh, no. This is... Brace for impact. Gotta wait for the game to unfreeze. Hopefully we don't lose too many of you 800 people. Oh boy. Oh, that's a big explosion. Uh, hello? Uh... Oh no! Uh, okay, game, hello, respond. Okay, actually? Parking brake, parking brake, uh, brake, 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 brake. Brakes! Use the brakes! The vessel is recoverable, That so that technically counts as a successful landing. And if I'm not mistaken, we only lost one of our 51 crew cabins on that descent. So that means out of the 820 seats... Only the 16 of you that got the back seat, the cheapest seats on the plane, you didn't make it. But that's okay, because you signed the waiver, so sorry you're out of luck. Uh, but anyway, this has been another video where I take my subscribers to space. Uh, like I said, I really do appreciate you guys. I, it's so fun to be able to make content and like interact with my community and get to know everybody and what you guys like to see. Uh, I, like I said, I'm going to keep doing these videos where I build increasingly large and janky spacecrafts for however many of you subscribe to this channel. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, subscribe right now and secure your seat on the next space liner. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.